For years, it is known mostly as the number one web application vulnerability, SQL injection, when a user input becomes an attack vector. Don't go anywhere. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. To understand SQL injection attack, we have to go back to the basic. So we have a web app, it runs on our browser, and just about any web app has different input fields that we enter user credentials or we enter reviews or just about anything, comments, and so on. Whenever we do it, our web server that hosts the web app contacts its database. It does so using a very specific language, which is called SQL. SQL is actually a structured query language, a special language that allows us as users and allows our web server to update, to delete, or to request information from the database. To do so, our web app sends SQL statements to the server. Now you can send a batch of SQL statements. There is a group of two or more SQL statements that are separated by semicolon. The server processes our request and returns back the results. Up until now, fantastic. It works just fine. Now, where is the vulnerability? When our web app just doesn't sanitize. It doesn't sanitize our user input. It doesn't differentiate between plain text that is used as the user input and an SQL statement that is entered in the input field and sent to the database. Let's look more closely. When we have a user input, the code, the application code looks something similar to that. When we enter our name, that is our username, it is being added to the code itself. Now imagine what will happen if I enter the following code instead of my name. It is actually an SQL statement that was entered in our input field. So now our application code looks like that. Offer, which is my username, or 1 equals 1. Now the database pulls down the records for every user wherever one equals one. Remember, one equals one is always true. The SQL is actually a valid SQL statement and it will return all rows from the user's table since or one equals one is always true. So our pure plain SQL statement is being treated as any other text input, it is being injected directly into our database and from there the opportunity for a malicious attacker is huge.